Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. Today's video is a little bit different. If you watch this channel, you know that I do a lot of thrift with me's at the bins or the Goodwill outlet where you dig through big blue bins and then pay by the pound. When I go to the bins, I'm not only looking for things for me, but I'm also looking for things to consign at places like Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, Plato's Closet, etc. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to show you all the stuff I've collected from the bins to take to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange. And then I'm going to go there and see what they take and report back to you, just so that you have a better understanding of what they're looking for. And this is a really great way to make a quick buck. Unlike reselling, you can really just buy from the bins and then immediately take it to the consignment store and make a quick flip if you need cash. You can either trade in for cash at Crossroads, it's 30% of whatever they're gonna mark it at is what you'll get in cash. Or you can take it in for trading credit, which is 50%. I think today I'm gonna do the trading credit, but if I can't find anything at the buy, sell, trade store, I might choose cash. But anyways, we're gonna start the video with me showing you everything we're gonna take. Then I'm going to take it there and I'll report back how much they offer me. And then I'll also show if I find anything at Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange to resell, I'll share that with you as well. Okay, so. Let's start with the haul. I have a little spreadsheet on my phone where I document everything from different bins trips that I found to take to Crossroads and the cost of goods of those things. And so I'll also share with you my total items, total cost of goods for everything in here. And if you watch my bins hauls and thrift with me, you've probably already seen a lot of this stuff. So first is this embroidered crop top. It's American Eagle, it's the older label. But I still thought it was definitely on trend, especially since we are in the summer months. Okay, next is a brand you're gonna see a lot of because I picked this up basically to take to Crossroads. It's Brandy Melville. This is a really cute piece though. It is a maxi skirt. That's very much prairie. Inspired floral print. This is an in and out t-shirt. And I actually grabbed one of these guys just to <laughs> use real quick while I'm going through this stuff so that while they are reviewing it, it looks good. It has this graphic on the back. Last time I took this an in and out t-shirt to Crossroads, they didn't take it, but Buffalo Exchange did, so we'll see if we have the same look. Okay, this I actually, you know, I've been thinking about this top for a while. It's this Brandy Melville tank that someone just DIY cropped and did a really bad job. So I think I'm actually gonna mark this as a loss and not take it because I find that if you have some kind of gross pieces that you're taking in there, or not gross, but just like bad quality, it kind of lowers the attractiveness of everything else. Whereas if you throw in a couple of really great pieces, I feel like it elevates the attractiveness of everything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that as a loss. Okay, next is this Billabong crop top. I'll be interested to see if they take this. I. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a no, but this is the newer kind of billabong tag. And yeah, I mean, it is definitely perfect for the season we're in at least. Next is a pair of Pack Sun. These are really cool patchwork denim jeans. They are in the mom jean style in a size 26. So we'll see if they take these. They used to take Pack Sun jeans like really regularly, but past couple times that I've taken them in, they haven't accepted them. So I'll be curious to see if that's the case. Next is a Madewell Dreamer t-shirt. It's size extra small. They really like Madewell, so we'll see if they take this. And then this is just a Madewell tank. I don't know if they'll take this or not. Next is a pair of Zara jeans, uh, size eight. And they're a rigid denim with a cut off hem. And I don't know what my luck with the Zara denim has been in the past at Crossroads, but we will see. This is definitely an on-trend pair. I wouldn't pick up just any Zara denim. And in fact, I think they're pretty particular with Zara in general, but they will pick up some things. Okay, this I think they'll definitely take. It's really cute. It is an Urban Outfitters gingham mini skirt. I feel like it's definitely on trend. Next is another pair of Madewell shorts. These have a little tie on them. I think we should take these. I don't know. We'll see. And then we've got a Rugrats like wife beater or tank. I felt like this was very Y2K, so I wanted to include it. I'll be really curious to see if they take it. 
feel like they should, but we'll see. And then I've got this One State Eyelet Tank. I don't know if they'll take this. I don't think I've tried to take very much One State, so we'll see. And then another Brandy Melville. This is a little floral crop top. I feel like that will definitely, they'll definitely take that, but I mean, it's got that little bow there. It's like very 90s. And then this Kendall and Kylie romper uh, with lace on the bottom. It's a short romper, so I feel like hopefully they'll take it. Okay, and then I think I have a bunch of <laughs> Brandy Melville. This is a Brandy Melville dress. It's smocked on the top, off the shoulder, mini dress. Vintage inspired floral print. Good summer piece. Another Brandy Melville crop top. This is long sleeve. It's a wrap top. And then this isn't exactly perfect for summer, but it is a Brandy Melville crop sweater. So that was cute. Next is this men's. I like taking men's to Crossroads. I'm not exactly great in knowing what they're gonna pick up, but this is PacSun men's. It's a short sleeve sweatshirt. So we'll see if they take that. And then I think this is also Brandy Melville. Yeah, this is a cardigan. It is lightweight, but again, I don't know if they're taking sweaters right now. This is a piece I'm really curious to see if they take. It's definitely, you know, trendy, but it's Target. It's new tag Target. It is universal thread and it's this eyelet blouse. I kind of want to like steam it a little bit before taking it in, give it its best chance <laughs> to perform well. It's size large, so we'll see. Next, we have a pair of men's Levi's. They don't have a back patch, so. They're just a pair of pants in this kind of burgundy color. And this is another Target who I wear, but I thought it was on trend. It's this acid wash midi denim skirt. Size 10, we'll see if they take that. Okay, this I did discover is flawed, um, but I'm still gonna try to take it. It's Urban Outfitters, and it's a really cute corset top. I might just try to latch all these little hook eye closures but it actually is flawed. It's got kind of the seam is splitting right there. So we'll see if they still take it. I mean, you definitely could still wear it. I didn't notice it when I picked it up initially. And then we have another in and out t-shirt. This one's white. in and out the back. Now, this one's in not great condition, actually. Now I'm looking at it, it's got like kind of small stains all over it. So I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they passed on this, but. We will have to wait and see. And then a pair of Levi's 501s. These aren't vintage. They have this new tag on the inside, but they're just a pair of rigid 501s. So hopefully they take those. They have taken Levi's men's Levi's from me from the past, and they've also turned them down. So I don't know. It's hard for me to <laughs> gauge. These are Zara, a pair of denim cut off shorts. I'll be curious to see if they take these. This is the Treffa Luke or whatever line in the US 2. Here's another pair of men's Levi's 501s. And these are also newer. They have a button fly. So we'll see. Maybe they take the blue ones more than the black ones. Have to wait and see. Okay, and then this is really cute. This is Zara. It is they're kind of tag that I like to pick up the most. This is just a linen crop top. I think I might also steam that for taking it. This is Brandy Melville as well. And this is just a mesh shirt with a sparkly mesh. I don't know if you can see that, but I feel like this is very on trend. So hopefully they take that. It was very lightweight to purchase, so. This is Urban Outfitters. And I actually really like selling Urban Outfitters. I'll sell most pieces that I find, but more basic things like this. I will uh, take to Crossroads, but if they don't take it, I'll just go ahead and sell it. It's got a button front and then a low strappy back. It's pretty cute. And then this is also Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they'll take this because it is a sweater, but it is cropped. I might steam that real quick as well. And I steam these things because they're much more likely to accept them if you make them look presentable and they're wrinkle free. Of course, I'm not going to put too much time into this stuff because it's not that big of a return on investment but I'll definitely put in a little bit of steaming and 
folding and stuff like that here and there. You don't want to just throw a bunch of stuff into a bag. This is men's. This is Adriana Goldschmied. This is a button down, color block button down. I think it's a size small. It's nice. And this I will sell if they don't accept it. And then this has some definite pilling going on. I could take a sweater shaver to it real quick, at least on the back, because that's where the pilling is. But this is Brandy Melville. It's John Galt, which is just a line within Brandy Melville. And it's another little mini skirt with that hound's tooth plaid print. That's cute. I think that's on trend. So <laughs> hopefully they take that. This is the only vintage piece I think I'm including. And I was actually thinking about keeping this, but I decided it's polyester. I don't want to keep it. It's California Concepts. It's really cute, I think. It's the Sunflower Romper. Perfect for spring, summer. Okay, next is a, this is a top I could send to the real rail, so if they don't take it across roads, I probably will. It's a designer, ALC, but of course, Crossroads does take designer items, and so I'm hoping that they take this. It's just a basic black top with this crisscross kind of neckline with a cutout detail. I think I looked it up and checked comps and decided I didn't want to sell it myself. So we'll see if they take it. I think I will steam it before taking it to them. This is really fun. It's a cherry Coke crop top, lettuce hem. The brand is just like Coke. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Another pair of Zara denim. These are very similar to the other ones, but they're more wide leg, also a size eight. And then the last thing I have in here is another pair of Pac Sun denim. These are cool. Hopefully they take these. They are like a cargo high rise jean with some distressing on them. So hopefully they accept these. I think they're cool and on trend. But yeah, in total, that's 38 items that I'm gonna take in. And I spent $40.63 on everything here. Some items I spent 75 cents on per piece and some I spent $1.50 on per piece. So I'm gonna track what they accept, what they didn't accept, how much cash they're offering me and how much trade and credit they're offering me at each location. So I'm gonna go steam that stuff real quick and we'll jump in the car and head to our first stop, which is a crossroads. All right. went to the first crossroads and I actually asked them to provide me a printout of everything they took. They took tons of stuff, which is so exciting because 
I've had experiences where they literally take nothing. <laughs> so this was so, so cool. Sorry if you can hear the AC, it's so hot in Portland. Well, it's 70 degrees, but for Portland, <laughs> it's really hot and I'm sweating. So they offered me $238.75 in trade-in credit and $143.25 in cash. I purchased a few different things. So I purchased these Everlane jeans that were half off. They are the way high jean in organic cotton. They were $14, but with my conversion, it's gonna be super cheap. I got these Ace and Jig pants, and I love selling Ace and Jig. It's been so long since I sold it. It's a major bolo brand. They weren't half off, but they were 28 bucks. Which again, with my conversion, it will be a lot cheaper. Then I got these Madewell jeans. They're kind of this pink blue color, which is interesting. They're from spring 2020 though, so they're really pretty new, but they were 22.50 half off. So I probably would have picked those up even if I paid full price for them. Same with these Madewell jeans. They are Madewell semi slim demi boot from spring 2020. They were 24 half off. And these Madewell jeans are from like spring 2021 or summer 2021. So they're really new. They were $24 half off. And then I got some a Goldie jeans. They weren't half off, but I decided with my conversion I was gonna go ahead and get it. They are called the Baggy and with tab in their size 28. I paid up for them, I paid $37.50. I probably wouldn't have paid for them if it wasn't for the conversion. But yeah, those are the pieces I got, almost all jeans. I really wanted to get some dresses, but I just didn't find any that I loved. So hopefully the next location I'm able to find some dresses by like Reformation or some really good Good bolo brands but yeah they took so many things they took in and out t-shirts both of them so <laughs> yay and I'll, once I go to the other one I'm, I think I'm just gonna go to one more crossroads I'm gonna tell you what they didn't take and then we'll figure out how much I made in total but already I've made a really great return on my investment and it was just one quick stop so let's go to the second one and see if they take any of the remaining stuff there's not a ton of stuff so it will be super quick all right, let's run there.
so not <laughs> as much luck at this one. In fact, no luck. They didn't take anything, but I found four really good things to purchase because I wanted to go ahead and spend everything that I got in trading credit at the last one. So the first is this new tag free people. I think it's called the Cassis dress and it's in really high demand when I was checking comps. So I want to go ahead and get it because it's perfect for summer. Just to give you an example of the conversion rate, I spent a total of $29.41 on everything that they accepted and I received $238.75 in trading credit and so that makes my conversion rate 12.32% meaning I spent $29.41 and that comes from dividing uh, $29.41 by what they gave me. So I take that number 12.31% and times it by what I spent on this and so really what I actually spent to acquire this dress was $5.24, but it was $42.50. So that's my cost of goods is $5.24 for this new tag free people dress, which is awesome. I also got this Reformation maxi dress, which was exactly the kind of thing I wanted to find. This is a size four. It's really, really cute. I found these mother jeans. I love, love, love selling mother and they're high rise. They are a size, I think 23 or 24. That's not bad. And they're white and in excellent condition. So I think they'll be perfect for summer. And then the last thing I got was this Patagonia jacket. Really cute. It's called the Mountain View Windbreaker. I'm really tempted to actually keep it. <laughs> it's really, really cute. So I just got those four things. I spent all my trade-in credit and then at the last place of course I got those jeans. But one other thing I want to go over with you was what they didn't take because I definitely learned some things by seeing what they did take and didn't take. So they didn't take the Zara shorts. They did not take the Nuitag Universal Thread Peasant Blouse. They didn't take the blue Levi's 501 jeans but they did take the black ones and they did take the burgundy pants. So you know make that what you will. They did not take the Who What Wear Acid Wash jean skirt. They didn't take the ALC black blouse. They didn't take the Kendall and Kylie black satin romper. The Brandy Melville cardigan they didn't take, but they took all the rest of the Brandy Melville, so I think that's just because of the season. Although they did take the cropped sweater that I brought in. Uh, they didn't take the Madewell side tie shorts, and then they didn't take the One State Eyelet tank and on here actually they they're telling me what they're pricing these things at as well So like the Adriana Goldschmied men's button-down they priced at 24 So I got 12 bucks for that both pairs of Levi's that they took they priced at 24 So I got 12 bucks of trading credit for those as well Most things like Brandy Melville they're pricing between $15 and $18 and 50 cents that Nickelodeon tank They <laughs> took for $13 and 50 cents, but I probably paid like literally 10 cents for that so receiving six dollars and 75 cents is really not that bad but yeah i would basically what i took away is i'm no longer going to pick up target anymore i'm just not even going to try it they do have target in crossroads i see it all the time but for whatever reason they don't want to take mine so i'm not even going to try target anymore but i am going to try to pick things up based off of style i think that like cherry coke tea and the Nickelodeon tank and the vintage romper all of those I just kind of went based off of style and they did take them also it does seem like they are accepting a lot of Brandy Melville so I'm definitely going to continue to pick that up I think with shorts I'm just going to be more selective because they didn't pick up either of the shorts they took in but that they told me they're just not buying a lot of shorts right now because it's not that hot in Portland I guess I don't know I don't know if I believe that but actually I think I did a really good job this time around so I'm really really happy with the results and I found some really good stuff too that I'm going to get listed in my Poshmark and eBay uh, stores. So yeah, I think a success all around. I'm gonna go get myself a smoothie, <laughs> treat myself, and celebrate this successful consignment. Yay! Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you gained some insight and knowledge about what Crossroads is accepting and whether this is a viable option for your reselling business or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you're surprised by what they took and what they didn't take. Also, is this something that you're already doing? Let us know in the comments down below if you find that any brands or certain styles you really like to take there. Before we go, I just want to answer one question that I feel like I always get in these videos. It's why don't you sell this stuff yourself? And instead of taking it to crossroads and it's because a lot of these brands that i took in are brands that are going to typically sell for like 20 around 20 dollars 
on Poshmark. And so if I can trade it in and purchase something that will make me more than $20, like you can find these at Crossroads that will sell on Poshmark for $100 plus, then it definitely makes sense for me. Also, if you're curious how I convert my cost of goods for trading credit when I buy things at Crossroads using my bins items, I'll link a video up on the screen where I explain that equation. It's another video similar to this one. But yeah, that is the video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.